What's up? Sure. What's at the Cops Kid Bowling Tournament today. How do you feel about it? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I think it's going to be a good day. Uh, I feel confident in our team. It would be nice if I could get in the frame. Maybe this is not good for my bowling experience because I'm not even in the frame. Well, you know, you're on a different team, so we're not friends today. But at heart, we're on the same team. At heart. And that is to beat the fireman. <laughs> that is to beat the fireman. Who are looking pretty sharp today? Woo! Oh, like play fire right there. We're representing the FOP. FOP. And so the CID. Much, uh, how much bowling experience do you have? Well, I was in the Army, so we bowl a lot in the Army. Um, Our tax dollars at work. Do you have a ribbon for that? For what? For bowling? From the Army? It's not like the Boy Scouts. Uh, we don't get ribbons. So how much bowling experience do you have on your team? I think we're, we're very limited. Uh, McCarley, who is the old man, says that he is a pro bowler. I'm not sure if that's true. From a past life. Because there are... Three of us on our team that have never touched a bowling ball in our life. Never even touched never a bowling ball? Them. So this is our first time, and they're very greasy. <laughs> the balls? <laughs> yes. Nobody likes the greasy uh, ball. That's, that's true. Nobody and McCarley likes. licked his thumb before he put it in his ball. <laughs> so, well, that's just polite. If that tells me he's going to be licking his finger every time he puts it in the ball, there's going to be all kind of DNA in that ball. All right, well, peace, love, and bowling. Peace, love, and bowling. Uh, Floyd County Special Olympics. 30th year, you know, we've done softball for 29 years. Uh, participation was down. We always had fight weather and all that kind of stuff. So, and each other. So we, we come up with this idea. We just kind of put it together because we didn't have the softball. Everybody's having fun. We come out here to have fun and make fun. That's what we're doing. Well, we appreciate you. Good job organizing. Thank you. All right, let's introduce you to the team. We got Hufflepuff. We've got the Fluff. That's right, the Fluff. We've got Sunshine himself doing all the hard work right now. And there's the man. That's right, the old man. We're rolling beside Sea Shift at the SO. There's the Redmond team, the FCPD team, what's up, how are y'all doing, checking out the competition, they're over here beside the 911 team, hello ladies, the famous Chad Matthews, we got Polk County, hi, so y'all Polk County, Polk County, how y'all doing, good, good, Another Polk County SO team. So when we do the softball, Polk County is usually like the troublemakers. They seem pretty calm right now, so that's good, that's good. Fire department over here, uh, looking awesome. Are y'all good to be on YouTube? Nobody undercover? Yeah. Firemen don't go undercover, right? The real heroes. The, oh, is that right? The real heroes. Speak some more SO guys. What's up, y'all? How are y'all doing? Hey. hey. You got Who are y'all with? Oh, it's all fun. A whole bunch? Floyd County Prison. Floyd County Prison. Yep. What's up, guys? Y'all doing good? We got staff and we got the future residents. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, in Bowling, it appears that everybody has their own style. You got the classic behind the leg. Uh, the Fluff has his own style. I'm not sure what that's called. Woo! But it is effective. Sunshine has his own style. Oh, it's called the almost gutter. So we just finished game two. We finished with a 530, which I think is a decent score. Our first game was what? Five. It's not a decent score. I think we're doing better than firemen, and that's really what's important. You got to tally up the score? All right. Well, as a fellow law enforcement officer, I just want to say how important it is that we beat the firemen. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. All right. Checking back on polls to see if they've gotten rowdy yet. Uh, still seems pretty calm down this way, though. Nope. Oh. 
need y'all to calm down. How are we doing? Y'all are awesome. Y'all just skip on over and bowl. Oh, oh my. Stop. Stop. So he knows there's one old guy hanging around with a bag full of oranges. He figured he wanted to sell them, but he asked him how much he wanted his oranges. He said, well, the oranges ain't for sale, but I am. Oh boy, I said, what are you talking about? He said, I'll, I'll pay you if you go back to a room with me, and all I want you to do is just throw oranges at me when I get naked. I'm going to stand on the bed. And he was like, how much are we talking about? He said, what's, what's a good number for you? He said, okay. He said, okay. So we went back to a room. He said he stripped down, got up on the bed, and he said, and I pelted his ass with those oranges as hard as I could. There was orange juice, seeds, and filling all over that place. It looked like a mass murder from a, a, an orange factory or something. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Is that? Right uh, that's a, there's no punchline? I no. thought you were telling a joke. No, it's true. <laughs> oh, my God.